I'm Larry Dawn, I'm a children's author. I love stories. I love listening to stories, I love reading stories, but most of all I love making up stories. And I find that um, it, not sitting with a book going, oh, I must write a book, but sitting it on a bus or a train or walking along the street or walking up a hill, I'm bombarded by ideas for stories. Everything that I see, my brain starts to turn into a story with a oh, what if or a I wonder what happens next question. So I, I, I love stories. I love um, being an audience for stories and a reader for stories, but I think I see the world as a story as well. So that's, that's why I'm a writer. I actually, this morning, was double checking the exact size of European carrion crow eggs compared to hen's eggs. Just to make one line absolutely accurate, that's not the weirdest thing at all. Um, the first series of books I wrote, the Fable Beast books, um, when I wrote First Aid for Fairies and Other Fable Beasts, it's actually about a girl who uses her mum's veterinary equipment and veterinary knowledge to heal various fable beasts when they get injured. Now, the very first injury I had to sort was a, a, a serious eye injury to a dragon and I wanted it to be anatomically correct but dragons don't exist <laughs> I wanted it to be scientifically correct but also magical uh, and I actually phoned Edinburgh University's vet school and said I, I really need to speak to a vet who can talk to me about an injured dragon and the receptionist dealt with it remarkably well <laughs> and we concluded the best thing to do was for me to find a, a vet, a professor, a, a, a lecturer in veterinary medicine who had children and was reading children's books to their children on a regular enough basis to not think that discussing dragons seriously was weird. And I, I met this vet, she helped me actually with all, the whole of that series, she was absolutely fantastic. We ended up with a dislocated fairy's wing, we ended up fixing the, the dragon's eye, there was a, a centre who needed his legs sewn up, there was a wolf, a werewolf who was changing between human and wolf and that was quite, that's quite tricky, shape shifting and wounds is really tricky. But this vet, um, the, the, we ended up with the dragon, we went from a mixture between lizard and snake and looked at actual injuries to actual lizards and actual snakes and I used that research in the book. So, you know, I, th that was quite weird. And, um, you know, I once phoned up a man who built boats and said, um, you know, how, how could we get a centre on a rowing boat safely across a river? It was a sea, actually. And I phoned up St Andrews University to ask them about seals and how long seals could stay underwater without breathing. And then admitted at the end of the conversation it was actually selkies I was researching. You know, I, I phoned a fish shop about how to fix a mermaid's tail. I, honestly, I, I have done some very weird things. The nastiest research I did, though, was for Mind Blind, the, the young adult thriller, um, where I had a few injuries and some um, martial arts fighting, and, and particularly somebody trying to make someone unconscious by touching a, a cutting a um, vein to their brain. And I have to say, some of the websites I found when I was doing that they were websites created by people I'm very glad I don't have to meet um, because they were experimenting on their friends to see if they could knock them out and it's just like I know I, I, I'm writing this for a, for a book and I don't really want to know that people are doing it for real so I do some very 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 odd research but the research often inspires the books it was like being sick and having spaghetti come out your nose <laughs> 